nine. Grade one, two, three, four. Yes, grade four. How are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm <laughs> fine. Good to see you. Hmm. So tell me, what did you eat? Yes, what did you eat? Tell me, okay? <laughs> All right, happy to see all of you. So it's time for us to do M A T H. What time is it? It's math time, and it's time for us to do some multiplication by single digit and division. But today, our focus will be multiplying by whole numbers. Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is what we're doing today. We're doing multiplication. So, we will start in our workbook, page 48. If you are with me, come with me and let's recall this one. Adnan had two boxes of cookies. There are 14 cookies in each box. How many cookies are there in the two boxes? So, you multiply 14 by 2 to find the answer. How do we do that? Step 1. And two is like that. You multiply two by four to get eight. And step two, we multiply two by one to get two. So 14 multiplied by two, our answer is 28. Okay, let's go on to number two. Multiply 222 by seven. Okay, so step one is to multiply 2 by 7 to get 14, carry 1 to this side and um, multiply 2 by 7 to get 14 plus 1 and you get 15, carry 1 again, 7 multiplied by 2, 14 again plus 1, 15. So we get our answer as 1,554. So that is how we multiply and we're going to do that. But today, oh, this session, we will look at multiplying by double digits. And division two by the time we complete chapter two so come with me and let's see at page 50 of your people's book one four is multiplied by two four multiplied by two the answer is eight right and we multiply 40 by two we get 80 400 by two we get 800 and 4,000 by two we get eight thousands so as the place value increases, our number also increases. 4 to 8, 40 times 280, 400 times 2, 800, and 4,000 times 2, 8,000. Come with me to page 51. Now look at this. Mrs. Um, Ye buys two airplane tickets. Each airplane ticket costs $1,403. How much do the two? <clears throat> I'm sorry. How much do the two airplane tickets cost all together? So we're going to multiply two to one thousand four hundred and three dollars to get our value. So step one, what do we do? We multiply three to two to get six. Step two is to multiply the tens, which is zero, by two. You get zero. As step three, what do we do? We multiply the four hundreds to two to get eight hundreds so we write eight then at step four we multiply the one thousand by two to get two thousands so our answer when we multiply one thousand four hundred and three dollars by two is going to give us two thousand eight hundred and six dollars so she paid two thousand eight hundred and six dollars all together for two tickets to fly mm, flying high 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 in the sky 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 you can watch the class go by at the airport flying low 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 watch the grounds below because fly is what we do at the airport okay <laughs> let's go on to question three at page 52 we have been asked to multiply 35 let's do this together 35 3,534 multiplied by 3. Okay, so what we do is that 3 multiplied by 4 is 12, 2 carry 1. 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 
0 carry 1 3 multiplied by 5 15 plus 1 is 16 carry 1 and 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 plus 1 will give us 10 so when we multiply 3,534 by 3, our answer is going to be 10,602. Did you get it? Yes, 10,602. All right, come with me and let's see these ones. What page are we? People's Week page 54. So when we multiply 3 to 2 times 3, 2, 6, and you count the zeros, 3 zeros. So let's add 1, 2, 3. 6,515 and we have one, two, three zeros. So we get 5,224 and let's add our three zeros and we get 4,000. That is easy. 339, 9,000. Okay, so that is that. Now let's go to two. Find the product of 1,132 by three. Three times two is six. 3 by 3 is 9, 3, 1, 3, and 3, 1, 3. We get 3,396. That is our answer. Now, let's go to number 3. We are multiplying 8 to 4,576. So, 8, 1, 8, 8, 2. So, 8 by 48, 6, 46, 6, carry 4 here. Mm-hmm. And 8, 7 is what? 56. Oh, sorry, 54. 54, right? Yes, because 8, 6 is um, 48. Sorry, not 46. Um, let me, let me, let me correct this. I'm sorry. Mm. All right, so let's do this again. Uh, take your pen. 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. 8 carry 4, yes. And 8 multiplied by 7 is 56. And 56 plus 4 is 60. 0 carry 6. Carry 6, yeah. 8 multiplied by 5, 40 plus 5 is... Four. Sorry, 8 multiplied by 5, 40 plus 6, 46. 6 carry 4, 8 multiplied by 4, 32 plus 4 is 36. So our answer is going to be 36,608. 36,608. Let's do it again so that you can understand. 8 multiplied by 6 is 48. 8 carry 4, 8 multiplied by 7 is 56 uh, plus 4 is 60 so 0 carry 6 8 multiplied by 5 is 40 plus 6 46 we have 6 and um, carry 4 8 multiplied by 4 is 32 32 plus 4 is 36 so 36608 that is our answer now let's go to number 4 2014 multiplied by 2. So 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. And 2, 2, 4. 4,028. This one, 3 multiplied by 1 is 3. Mm -hmm. 3, 2, 6. 3, 1, 3. And 9. So we get 9,368. What about C? If we multiply 3,568 by 9, do it and let me see. What will be the answer? Your answer should be 32,102. And if you multiply 8,725 by 8, you should get 69,800. Boys and girls, this is how we do multiplication by whole numbers. I have practice work for you to do. Pause the screen and do it in your notebook. It is not in your workbook or people's book. I gave it to you. Practice. Just practice it. Some, some. Okay, practice this one at home. So pause this and do it at home. Boys and girls, that'll be all for me and you. 
See you later, alligator. Goodbye, Kate. Okay, so it will be that for me and you. Don't forget that I never, never run out of knowledge. I only run out of time until I see you again. Next clip, don't forget that my name is P E T E R Peter. Thank you very much.